This is Bayou Kane. Bayou Kane and Big Branch. We're gonna take a look at this bayou. Believe it or not, this is my first time over here at this Bayou Cane and Big Branch. Between Fountain Blue and Lacombe, Louisiana. So we're gonna find out what this trail is all about. Let's see how many places they got like fishing holes. We didn't have all that stuff over here. Here's a little fishing spot. Okay, the battery is ready to go dead on my camera, so I'll try to hurry up on this one. I have to replace the battery. So look, a free cork. I love free stuff. These are good corks too. Huh? I didn't know they had like a fishing pier over there. Bunch of canoes and it looks like a rental area. They rent canoes. Big fish. I need to hurry up. My battery's going dead. I might go back and get some batteries for this thing. All right, back where we were, I got a new battery. Look at this area, how nice it is. It's real close to the highway. You know, highway 190 up there, but look at this area. This is a good, perfect, flat camping area. I can put hammocks out here. A couple of tents, especially tents. Look at all that flat ground. Perfect too, look how high water gets. So you be safe up here if you put a camera or put a tent up here or a hammock. So we're gonna take a look at the rest of this uh, place. Is Big Branch, no I'm sorry. Damn it. Cane Bayou right here. On Highway 190 between Big Branch and Fountain Blue State Park. was a fish. Hey, right, we got a nice little dish to cross. But we don't have to cross it. We can go. Yeah, we're gonna cross it because it looks cool on the side. Not recommend during wet seasons. Let's see, can we get across this? Well, oh, killing ourselves. Hmm. It's quick saying. I'm gonna be quick. To jump over the candlestick. Ooh. Look at this little area. 
Oh, a lot of fishing property here. Look at this. Look at this big fishing property. When I say fishing property, it means open area. You can cast your line out and move with no sticks, no problems. And you see the big fish. Look at that. Look at that fish. Fish probably don't know what to do if you threw a lure in here. Looks like we're gonna come to a dead end. Let's see what happens. This big log been washed up or fell off that. That's what it did. Look at that fish, fish, fish. No mean fish go bite on your line either. One thing about fish, you don't know when it's going to bite your line or when it's going to not bite your line. Oh, I like it out here. It's quiet now. Put a good camping spot right up there on that hill. Look at that. Now you have to watch out for snakes out here because this is a snake alley. Look at that. Look how pretty that is. <sighs> this would be the perfect spot for a camp. Right here. Look at that. I'll put a hammer across right there. My open pit right here, close to those trees. It looks like that's the end. See what I'm doing? It's going back and forth to see open areas. See that whole area is open. That's somebody's property. Maybe not good up our area because somebody might see your fire unless you build a firewall. Unless it's been abandoned because we've got a lot of houses abandoned in this area. A lot of thunder. See how it opens up back there? That means there's a road there. There's a house over there. You see how it's open? And over here is kind of thick. But you see like a little opening right there. That means there's a house there. Over here, looks like an opening over there, but it could be low trees. That's a little opening, but that could be low, so low trees. I know there's houses that way. I see houses and there's like a road right here. Look at that. Would that be a perfect spot for camping? A little too close to the houses. Maybe the other site that we passed earlier is a better spot. A lot of fishing ground. Remember when I say fishing ground, I mean there's a lot of area you can cast your, net, uh, your pole out while problems. A lot of hole, open holes. A lot of fresh uh, fat wood. <gasps> oh yeah. Oh man. Oh, give me more. Give me more. Give me fun. Boy, I smell some good shit. <sighs> ooh, ooh. This whole tree. Look at that. You know that's good. Look at that. <laughs> oh, yeah. Now, only thing bad about this spot, if it rains on you, you might get flooded in. This right here is a floodplain. You can see by the brown leaves. That means water goes across this. And see over here, it's green. And it's not brown. I mean, well, you know what I'm talking about. Look, gray, brown. You see the difference? Water goes across this.
I'm going to show you the other side. This is nice, beautiful fishing ground. Look at that. I can cast my pole a couple of times in this area. This is the other spot I will camp at right here. Look, another spot where water goes across. And see how it's high where the water can't get to? So this is to be the highest point during the uh, a flood. Well, <laughs> depends on how bad the flood is. Look at the woods. You came out here to see the woods. So, let's uh, take this. I didn't want to do that. I wanted to do this. Okay, can I put my foot here? Yeah. Ooh. It broke on me. I saved myself. Now, I like it over here because I'm close to the road. If it did rain, I can get out while getting wet. I'm not going to drown, but you never know what's going to come after, after. Look at all this fat wood, man. Look at this piece. Oh, man. Oh, yeah. I love me some fat wood. Look at this piece. Look, you see it. That bear. Look at that piece, man. <laughs> One thing about trees around water, they tend to rot faster and get to the fat part. See how? Probably this tree been down for like a year and so rotten already. Look, fish. Look at all those cypress knees. Another area that floods. Oh, it gets water here. That's that's up to here. Look, turns. Looks like possum or coon. I could be wrong. You can quote me if you like. This is the best area, I think. It's right there for the cars. No brown area. It must be really, really rainy and high water to get up here. So we're going to check out the other side of Cane Bayou where people boat launch their boats to go fishing. I hope y'all enjoy all my walking videos for different parks and different places. Alright. <laughs> what can I use that? Where's all these cement come from? Happy old frog. Where you get? Looks like Hullion Swamp. Alright, let's take a look on the other side. For those who want to come out here to buy you cane to do some fishing, here's Highway 190. That's Fountain Blue and Big Branch is right behind me. And I'm going to show you the uh, little boat launch that you can launch your boat. There, there is a fire. Damn it. house right there see he has the right idea I got a little boat on top you take highway 190 
from La Calm, you get to this place here. Once you pull in, you can find uh, launch a boat, untie your boat first. Make sure your plug is in the boat before you dump it into the water. And if you drop your boat into the water, you can park your truck or car anywhere is in the parking lot. This Bayou Cane goes all the way to Lake Pachatrain. I'm gonna take you on a little hike around. There's a small trail. There's another little camping spot over here I like to go camping at one day. Look, a fish! <laughs> the same guy that passes up is right there. <laughs> he was lost. Now he found it. We must take a look back there. Now, if I'm not mistaken, this goes to a dead end. Look at all this bamboo. Imagine this all growing up. There's the St. Tammany Trace. It's a bridge over the Bayou Cane. Another open fishing area. You can catch the line with no trouble. line okay go back and pick that up now believe it or not I bet you you catch the most biggest fish in this little ditch than anywhere else in the bayou this ditch would probably catch you more big fish than anywhere's it was weird. We got a it's called a coveted pond, and we we catch the biggest fish in the ditch of the coveted pond than we caught in the the, the 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 bayou or the lake itself. Look at that. All right, I'm Ranger Cookie, and I'm gonna take this line off. It's free. All right, I'm Ranger Cookie. See you next video. Bye -bye.